Okay, here's a little update on these romaine little gems that I planted uh, back in the uh, beginning of last month. So it's this is going to be about six weeks in. Uh, so notice that the crop here was 68 days. So that would be about two months and a week. So that would be uh, nine weeks. Whereas I got uh, my hydroponic results here in six weeks. So I've already eaten two of these because I always plant six of them at a time. And uh, what's kind of interesting, I'll show some uh, little details here. Um, these two over here uh, actually got a little bit of damage early on. Uh, you can tell they're a little bit uh, behind in the development compared to the other two. However, at six weeks, everything is still healthy. I know at some point, so let me show you the roots here. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. That is a nice, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a very nice set of white roots. I'm really low on, uh, on uh, nutrient solution there. I kind of just let it sit for the last couple of weeks. But it's doing great. Even this was a runt when it started out, but um, I would eat that. And I'm going to get through all these. I'm going to eat uh, one or two of these right now for lunch and mix it in with a salad. So these, uh, this uh, was probably looking better uh, a day or two ago. You could see that there's some uh, tip burn, right? little brown edges on the side. And I, I find that that happens uh, as the plant gets a little bit older. But you can see there's a nice tight he head here. And uh, I'm going to cut it open here and show you. I'm going to harvest this thing and show you uh, how good that looks and tastes inside. Um, yeah, there's, you know, a little bit of these leaves here at the bottom. We're just going to chop off and not eat. Uh, let me show you the roots. It's, it's kind of hard to see in there, but uh, they're generally white. There's not a problem. It's a massive fruit set. Again, low on the solution because I've been lazy. Now, let's see this. Let's invert that. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, see all those roots? Okay. So, um, these heads are small. They're about 50 grams, uh, which is, you know, it's actually kind of nice for a salad um, for one person. Um, if it's a small salad. So, what I typically do is I make, uh, I, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I have like a rice and chicken and mushrooms and onions and uh, it's kind of, you know, it's it's uh, not a fried rice, but it's chicken and rice. OK, and then I let it cool down and then I uh, cut this off, clean the leaves and uh, I put uh, the typical dressings on there, the um, olive oil, the uh, vine you know, the vinegar. Um, uh, garlic, salt, pepper, and then I uh, mix it all together with uh, chicken and rice, and it's fantastic. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and harvest this thing. So, just uh, start by cutting it down here. All right, so if I were to weigh this, it'd be about 50 grams. Let's get rid of, I'm going to try to use all these leaves. They're all looking fine. So, Here's my little salad spinner. All right, so let's show you. You know, this is this is uh, the little. This is a romaine, little gem romaine head. Okay, so cut off some leaves there. I don't even know if you need to wash this. It's so clean inside. But let's go ahead and chop off some more. You can just see. This is a nice tight head, and that. You know, there's a tiny bit of tip burn here, but other than that, uh, it's perfect. So this stuff is good. This is a nice, a nice head of lettuce. And it's going to be a, a great lunch. I'm going to clean it, even though it doesn't need much cleaning. By the way, this, uh, so I found you know, this romaine little gem. It's been recommended by a lot of people for a lot of reasons. I mean, it's, uh, they say frost tolerant. It's probably also heat tolerant. I, I found it because it was, I looked for a heat tolerant variety. Right here in San Diego, um, this in March, 
we are probably looking at uh, 12 degrees, sometimes 12, 10 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Celsius is 50 Fahrenheit. It didn't get that cold, but it was probably 12 degrees, so I don't know what that is. 55, 54. Um, you know, and there's, uh, by the way, this, this, this location gets very little sunlight. It, it probably only gets uh, a few hours, maybe four hours of direct sunlight, maybe five a day, because I am, uh, I am west facing here. So um, this is a beautiful variety. The pests do not touch this. I mean, I okay, I have to admit, I have aphids that crawl all over, um, you know, all over the things they like, which like my kale, if I don't watch out, the baby bok choy, they love that, but they don't touch this. So there's so far I found no pests at all on this thing. There's no white mildew, there's, you know, there's nothing. The only imperfections at all that, that I'm getting here are is, is this little tip burn, which I think has to, mostly to do with the age of the plant. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe, uh, who knows. But uh, interestingly enough, as I said, um, these runt plants are not forming the tight head. So yeah, that's, I, I guess that's typical. When you have a tight head, it's, it's you know, there's not a lot of air circulation in there. So, uh, as they say, the tip burn is kind of a function of, uh, uh, you know, calcium not getting to the leaves. But in this case, no tip burn. No head, but no tip burn. So, uh, again, this is a beautiful harvest. This thing, is, this thing rocks. So I highly recommend the little gem, the romaine little gem. It's, uh, it's small, but it's tasty and it's crisp, and it has... Uh, and it's pest resistant, and it has all those qualities you like of romaine. Although when you go to the store and you get a huge romaine uh, head, it's not as fun because a lot of that's very cellulostic. But here you got a lot of green. So huge fan of this thing. No pests, heat tolerant, frost tolerant, uh, grew fast. Again, it, for me, this was uh, six weeks. Whereas, you know, hydroponically with little sunlight. I mean, I did grow them indoors to begin with under, under lights, but I moved them out, I forget when, uh, in a f probably mid midway through. Uh, six weeks instead of nine weeks. Pretty damn good. Very happy with this. I'm going to keep growing these. These are wonderful.